Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about tourist trip control in CISO.NET Windows Phone. So at here, let's go to toolbox and here, right to tourist trip. So here, import to tourist trip, or oh, here, tourist trip, tourist trip container. So here, I am going to discuss about tourist trip. So let's track this one in the form. Oh, see at here, this is the tourist trip. So at here, you can add to, or oh, this or uh, space you can add button label split button drop down button separate combo box so here yeah, this controls inside you get in tourist trip so here yeah, let's double click on form and if you writing at here tourist strip so see at here this is a tourist strip or uh, select to this one and here yeah, about to do this trip so provides a container for windows toolbox object so it so provides one container for windows toolbox object so this is the things about to this trip or definition and here after if you want from here you can add button so at i'm going to add three button so button one added the name of button is to this trip button and from here you can or change the color of button so here you can select anyone according to your requirement and here you can change the text and here from here you can change the background color and let's add two more buttons so see at here three buttons added now here after i'm going to double click on button one so here so I'm going to show you if I click on a button. So what happens? Add so add there the message will display or display button one click. So for this we need one more control level control. So see at your level control. So this is the two display level name. Here this is the name and here this is the text. From here you can change the text also. So according to your comment. So going to change at here giving to a strip level on. So see see at here it's so displaying to a strip level. So here let's double click and to the strip button one it's so open. Now here I'm going to write to to a strip. So at here I added button one button two. So level it's not displaying. So see at here level one it's there. So here I'm going to when I click on button one, so the message display to the strip button one correct. Button one correct. So this should be display. And if I'm going to, if I click on button 2, so here, just copying this line to save the times. So, add here, if I, so add here, the message should be displayed to the strip button to correct. And if I click on button 3, so add here, the message should be displayed to the strip button 3. So let's see here, you know, execute the code. So here, you know, this is the form. So if I am going to click on, so this is uh, three button and your know, one level. So I'm going to click on here, you know, or button one. So this is the tourist trip button one. So message it's displaying tourist trip button one click here, you know, button one. If I click on or button two, so at here message display to strip button two click. If I click on button three, so at here the message is displaying to strip button three click. So here, so this time using at here or button and level control in or to strip. So from here you can add the combo box inside or to strip, or you can add all the controls. So according to project requirement, you can add. So at here you can add text box also. 
So let's see one more interesting coding using our tool string. So for this, we need to take uh, two other sculptor. So add here, uh, button one already there. Here I'm going to take one timer control. So inside tool strip, uh, we cannot find any timer control. So timer control not inside tool strip. So add here I've taken uh, timer one control. Now here. I'm going to uh, take uh, image control. Sorry, picture box control. So picture box there. Now here I'm going to make the size bigger of the picture box. Size is bigger. Now here after timer already taken picture box. So add here double click on timer. So at your timer peak event, it's open. So at your in tool strip, here yeah, this is the tool strip. So let's add one more or uh, control. So progress bar is there. So at here I added progress bar. Now let's go to the form and your yeah, right in tool strip. Tool strip, the name of progress bar. I need progress bar. So see at here, this is the progress bar. So you want to see the name of progress bar. Go and your select. So that is the pro name of progress bar. Of the list progress bar. Now here, I'm going to set the minimum value of the list progress bar. By and here, fine. And here after, we need to set the maximum value of progress bar. So add here to strip dot max. So maximum value here I'm going to set with 50. So whatever you can give the value at you, it's your chance. Now here after tool strip or progress for dot value. So value I'm going to increase by 1 1. And let's write if statement. If tool strip progress bar dot here if the value reach on or the value start from 10 so I am giving 15 so if the value of uh, tool strip 15 here we need to give double equal to for comparison so if the value is uh, 15 so I have picture box 1 dot here background image back so here background image available so image going to change so at your right image dot from file so from file so from where I'm going to take the image so I do see it have image folder. So let's copy this uh, path and your uh, water tanker I'm going to display. So add your in double code right C here. So add your going to display CT. So all file is in JPG format. So give add your extension JPG and your backward size. So if that condition is true, so from file that display this image, city image. So here after I'm going to use one more tab. Here. So this time when the value of uh, progress was 25. So I'm going to display the image anyone. So I'm going to display at here. Or city already done. So this time I'm going to uh, display sir. So if the condition, so at here, let's give as if. So if this condition is true, so that. So now here after I'm going to start the time. So from anywhere you can uh, start the timer. So I'm going to create giving the code at your timer. So timer right timer dot start. Timer zone. So if I click on to restrict button one, so the timer will start. So if the timer 
or stops obviously I have to stop the timer so if this condition is switched on 25 so I am going to stop the timer so start has been over so now stop so let's execute So see and here this is button 1, 2, 3 to display label here, yeah. combo box, check box. So and here I am going to click on button 1. So see and here, timer started here. Yeah. So when the value of our timer, so see the code of that working. So and here to display button 1. So if I click on to display button 1, so here to display button 1. And here after control comes to this point. So at a time out of this stop. So now control comes to this point and here this point and here or to this step progress one the value minimum value is start from 5 maximum value that go to 50. So at here this is start 5 and here the maximum 50 and here value is gonna increase by 1 1. So if the to this value reach on 15, so if the value of reaching 15, so from here or 15 so that display CTMS and if the value reach on 25 so I have that display sir so this is the image of sir and here 25 here after that after display so time will stop so that here or uh, when the value of for uh, to display 25 so here or uh, that stop so here I'm going to cancel let's execute one more time so button one click see it here when the value reach on uh, 15, so display first city here after. So, so this is the one uses of a tool strip in CSO.NET Windows form. So this all piece of code. So tool strip has their own button control and you know, label spread, separate comma box progress one. So this is one control uh, where you can find uh, or four plus 5, 6, 7, 8 control inside the tool strip. So this is, that's it about the tool strip. So I hope guys you understand how the uses and how we can use the tool strip in CSO.net Windows form. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.